Hello everybody. So I have my little my little cute bot here and I want to add a display to it. And there are a couple different displays uh, that I could add. This is an OLED and it is uh, 64 by 128 pixels. This is a uh, 1602 LCD which means it's got um, two lines of text and 16 characters. On it. They are both I2C IIC devices, so they'll both plug into the same spot. Where that spot that I've decided to plug into is right here behind the micro bit, and you're not going to be, really be able to see it in the video, uh, but there are four pins here, and I'll read them. They are the, a ground pin, 3 volt, nine, pin 19, and pin 20. Those are the I squared C pins, 19 is the SCL, the clock, and 20 is the SDA data, I'm pretty sure is what that means. Um, the important part, so I've got a, um, so I got jumper wires here, and these jumper wires are socket to socket because there are pins down there and there are pins here. Um, if, for example, I was trying to plug into here, I would need a pin to socket. So I could stick pins in here and connect this with a um, socket. Uh, so the important part is make sure you plug things in correctly. They actually don't line up nicely. Um, so you gotta kinda look at them and remember. So they're gonna be a little bit of twist of your wires. So let's see, uh, my ground is red and my power is orange. My ground is red, All right, so I'm looking at my, my, my letters here. My ground is red and my power is orange. I don't know why there's not a consistency with that. Uh, my ground is red, my power is orange, and then let's see, 19 is yellow. 19 is yellow and 19 is my SCL. I don't know if you can see the VCC, GND, SCL, SDA, voltage, ground, clock data. All right, so 19 was yellow and 19 is SCL. And then that leaves that one. So there we are, all nice and plugged in. Um, now let's go to make code. And if we need to get an extension for it, and it's you Google OLED, no Google, but search OLED. And there are several. I've used this one mostly. I think this one works too. One and three are the same. Um, the Luck Freaks has uh, something here. I haven't looked into that yet because uh, I've always just played with that second one. I might have to look to that because it's got right there it's got a little OLED so that might be uh, a useful set of blocks sorry I hadn't looked into that I just hadn't gone past this one so right here it gives us OLED 128 by 64 and so there are various size ones obviously this is a small one it's about an inch um, first thing we have to do we have to initialize it's kind of like NeoPixels we gotta tell it we have an OLED there um, after that, that's pretty much it. Now we can show numbers and here's where you have to pay attention to, uh, where things go and what's happening here. And I'll tell you, and then I'll show you. First of all, uh, zero starts is our first number, our first identification and zero zeros in the top left. So I'm going to show a string at zero, zero, and the string says hello, and I'm just gonna put letters there, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, because I know something. Um, and then I'm going to put numbers somewhere else. On button A pressed, let's put, where, 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 OLED, let's see that would show string, let's show number. And I'm not gonna go at zero, yeah, I'm gonna go zero for X, but I'm gonna go three for Y. Here's what's happening. Uh, the way the, the OLED comes in, the default is that there are four lines of text. 
So 0 would be the first line, 3 would be the next line, the last line, I'm sorry. And I'm going to download my code onto my micro bit. And then while that's happening, I'm going to switch back to the webcam. It's downloaded. Plug my micro bit in. Turn my micro bit on. So there you see A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, A, J, K, L, M, almost M. So not only do we only have, we have, we have, I'll show you when I press A, there's the number 12. Um, we have four lines of, of characters and we have not quite 13 characters. Depends on how big the characters are we can get in. Because again, we've got this certain number of pixels and more than one pixel makes up a character. So it depends on how uh, the, the size of the characters. Like number, I mean, if you put a whole bunch of, a bunch of ones across, you probably get 14, 15 in there. All right, so we have three lines of text, and we have about 13 um, characters. In the default mode, and that's probably the mode you're going to want to use because the default mode is actually zoom is zoomed. It's actually double-sized. So if I take zoom, and zoom true is how it comes in defaulted. If I change zoom to false, and again, I got to download. Um, if I change zoom to false, it's going to cut everything down in size. And they do that because if you want to read characters, if you want to display data, zoom false is not a very good way to display data. Uh, let us come back to webcam. Turn you on. Why didn't you go on? I have been having little intermittent issues with it not displaying, and I don't know why. Now let's take this out and download it again. I don't know why I'm getting uh, intermittent working of the uh, OLED. I don't know if it's an OLED problem. A cute bot connection problem. Because they're stuck in there behind and they're hard to hard to get to. Let's say it was a cute bot connection problem because there was one I had to push down in again. All right, downloaded. Let's get back to webcam. Get you in there. Turn you on. Ta-da! So you see my letters like really tiny. So if you really want to do data and display data like temperature or number of buttons pushed or distance from uh, the sensor that the sensor is seeing, you want to leave the default or automatically put in zoom as true. That way you get four rows of characters, about 13 characters across. Zoom false, you're going to get eight rows of characters um, and 25 characters across. So, depends on what you want to do there. I prefer larger characters, but I'm getting old. Now, there are other things we could, uh, we can draw lines and rectangles. Here, let us draw a rectangle. Let's actually get rid of the string. Now, lines and rectangles are one pixel um, big, one pixel th thick kind of thing. Uh, so again, if I start at zero, 0, and go 60 pixels across and 30 pixels down, that is going to make a box. Let's see, you got, am, am I true or am I false here kind of thing. 
because again, zoom true kind of doubles the size of everything. So you got to pay attention to that. Michael Bit and I are having issues here. Um, if zoom is false, you have 64 by 128 pixels. If zoom is true, you got to cut that in half because it's taken, it's now doubled how many pixels it uses. It doesn't double how many pixels are, are available. It doubles how many are being utilized for, for a dot. So zoom is false. So I've got 128 by 64 pixels. So this should make a, uh, like a rectangle in, the co in a corner, right? A quarter. Let us see. Plug you in. Come back to webcam. Turn you on. Yeah. Because if zoom is false, if I'm just back to like what this thing can do potentially, it's 128 pixels across and 64 down. And I made something 60 by 30. If zoom is true, then I only have 64 pixels across and 32 pixels down. So you got to remember what you're on, true or false, for the zoom. Um, why is mine two colors? Uh, it's the way I bought it is that this upper part is going to be yellow and the bottom part is going to be blue. You can also buy them where they're just white. Um, I don't know what other colors might come with OLEDs. But... There is um, utilizing an OLED. We'll show. We'll get the. We'll get the true back in here, so you can see what that thirty by sixty rectangle. And you can also just do vertical lines or horizontal lines at a certain pixel location. So there's a difference between are you doing pixel location or character location? Because again, characters. You've got um, four rows by 13 when you're zoomed. But pixels, you've got uh, 32 by 64. So just remember what you're working on. So here we go. Let's come back, plug you in. Come back to webcam. Now this should be a pretty much full rectangle. Ta da! So, there we go. Enjoy.